Hi makeup friends, I hope you all are doing well. Um, I'm filming on my phone because I can't get to my um, usual camera right now. So I have a haul to share with you guys and I have a review um, right after this. So I'm not sure which one you're going to see first, but next week is my birthday. Today is the 17th of May, I believe. And um, so next week is my birthday and I just bought a few items in honor of my birthday and I just needed some items from Pennywise, etc. So I just bought a few things. Um, I do have some other items coming in that I need to collect. I ordered like the Shayla and Colourpop palette and her lip gloss and um, I have like a skincare item to pick up. But what I really wanted most of all for my birthday was just to get some new um, tops and stuff. So I didn't go so hard with the makeup. And you know, as you're getting older, you just you think different things. Like I can't wait to get my hair done. I did my nails already. So these are my uh, birthday nails. So I, did, I decided to go quite colorful for my birthday. So yes, more excited to get like a pedicure and get your hair done and that kind of thing. So yes, so I just wanted to share with you guys what I purchased. Um, I purchased items from Pennywise, from Julin, from Wonderful World and from Sherry Derry. Now, when I did my previous, um, some of my previous hauls, and you guys asked me for Sherry's link or Sherry's page. She does have her page on Facebook listed as a personal page. And I asked her, what, what should I do um, when people are asking for your page? And she said, um, when they message her, like if they send her a message, she can share the album with them. So if you do message her, she will share the, album, the albums with you of items that she has for sale. So that is how you get onto Sherry. I will leave her Facebook name down below and her Instagram name down below. And try messaging her on either one. And um, yes, so I'm going to start with Pennywise first. Because it's not as exciting as the others. So let's get that out of the way and we leave the exciting things for last. So first thing that I picked up was just two speed stick deodorants for my husband. This is just the Fresh Rush anti on 24-7 picked up that for him I picked up this huge ass tub of um, hair styling gel he likes to um, style his hair with this and this is super super cheap in Pennywise I want to say like $15 or something for all of this gel and it lasts him months and months and months but I bought the black one because it leaves like less dryness in your hair so I picked up that for him as well um, I do have like one or two items missing from the bag and I will tell you what it was um, so I picked up two of these. This is the Clarice Cotton Rounds, 100% pure cotton, hypoallergenic, soft and absorbent, and lint-free. Um, there's a little cotton symbol. I did purchase two of these, but I already opened one because I went to Pennywise a few weeks ago. And I already filled my container, and I used this to use my toner and um, to take off eye makeup and those kind of things. So I already used up half the pack of the second one and i have that in my drawer somewhere so i did purchase two of these something else that's missing is um i purchased a two pack of this is the huggies um soft skin with vitamin e this did come in a two pack and you did get to save a few dollars off but i picked up i already had a fuller container that i had so i used one of that already then i picked up um, this is a three pack of the color eyebrow razors it was $17.95 for three love having these on hand to just um, clean up my brows and stuff when I'm doing my makeup so I always like to have extra of these and you can also use these to like in case you have like a little mustache hair and some people even use this to trim like um, their sideburns and just to get like peach fuzz and stuff off of their face I do do that sometimes but I mostly keep these for my eyebrows then I just picked up a little powder dish for my daughter she puts on powder like if she's going to sleep etc so um, I just picked up one of these for her I think this was like seven dollars or something just because the one that she's had she's had it for quite some time so we just picked up a little powder dish for her I picked up these are the new um, 
color wipes they are doing the they have redone the packaging and they no longer sell it in the silver packets that i are custom getting them in if you do still get those that, that might be old stock from if pennywise has I, I didn't see any in pennywise or you may be able to find it at um wonderful world but now if you have to pay that kind of money for it in wonderful world which will be about 22 or 23 dollars at home that's how much it costs in wonderful world as opposed to it was like 60.95 and pennywise it makes no sense to buy that pack anymore because you only get 30 wipes so if you buy it in wonderful world and you pay 23 dollars for 30 wipes now these packs come in packs of 60 and these packs cost um i think 29.95 or 31.95 between 30 to 32 dollars i want to say and these are how the new packets come now and i love love how they've done it over it comes with a plastic pop top and then it comes in this little sleeve that you just take it out of the sleeve and then it comes with the pop top so you can um keep this closed and sometimes a little sticky flab flap gets um it does it, it loses its stickiness so your pack of wipes is always slightly open and all of that but i love love how they did this over so and i even really like the sleeve that it comes in so this one is the cucumber um makeup remover cleansing test use you now get 60 wipes in the pack which i really appreciate and um they've even added some new scents and stuff so this one is just a cucumber one i love this one so this is around 30 something dollars and then I picked up this other pack, and this one is um, color charcoal wipes, which is so amazing. Now, I did open this. This one comes in the sleeve as well. I did open this, and the wipes in here are actually black. So they do, um, look, that is so cool. So I can't wait to use these. Um, this co does come in a pack of 60 as well. This one says purifying, detoxifying, and vitamin E um this one doesn't say anything like how this one has a little circle but so this one is charcoal and i can't wait to use this to see how they actually work i really really like how carla did this over and carla i've found i've tried quite a few things from their brand like i've tried their wipes i have tried their um their eyebrow razors i've tried some brushes from carla and anything that i've tried from carla i really really like I really like their products and I love love how they've done this over so if you are a user of color wipes definitely look for the new packs in Pennywise with the packs of 60 then I purchased um, this is my L'Oreal skin expert hydrogenous um, moisturizer I do use this moisturizer every single day this has replaced my um, my clinic dramatically different moisturizing gel i spoke about this in a sort of review video alongside the neutrogena um hydro boost water gel i think that's the name anyway i picked up this one and the one that i picked up was the matte one because this is for people with oily skin it says it has aloe water and hyaluronic 72 hours of instant and continuous hydration daily liquid care so this is the bottle i'm almost finished of my previous one i just have like about a quarter of the bottle left because i use it every single day and i've started um putting some on my husband and he really likes it as well so um you will get you will find this in pennywise and you can find this in a lot of drugstores because it is a very popular product but you will pay the cheapest price in Pennywise so I picked this up I believe I paid like 130 for this then last but not least from Pennywise I picked up two of the loose um, these are new these are the Caramia loose um, highlighters and I don't know why I picked up this one but we'll see how it works if it doesn't if it's too dark for my skin tone I can probably use it as an eyeshadow I ran out of storage on my phone so I'm back yes as I was saying I purchased um, the new loose pigments not loose pigments loose highlighters from caramia these are very very inexpensive i want to say like 8.95 or something i kind of regret picking up the bronze one because i just feel as though it's going to be too dark and it's going to look silly as a highlight but i'm really happy that i picked up this one in goddess i don't know if it's open it is I will um, give you guys a swatch in a review video if you want there's an in-between shade before this one and I didn't pick up that one I don't know why but 
when I put this um, the bronze one on my face I will let you guys know how they work so this the bronze one is smoky bronze and the gold one is goddess so picked up these from Pennywise and those are some new color not color new Caramia products now I went to Wonderful Wool and this is a while ago. This is weeks and weeks ago. I've just been keeping these things to show you guys all in one haul. Because just because I don't want to have a haul with four items. So these things are from a very long time ago. I am planning to do a review on this foundation. This foundation is new. Um, you can get it from, I believe, La Moda Chic. I believe they have it as well as now it's available in wonderful world so these items are things that I bought from wonderful world and I'm so happy I was waiting so 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 long for this foundation to come out this is the LA girl pro matte uh, high definition long wear matte foundation I am wearing it today I picked up the color sand um, there's another local youtuber um, who purchased this and we are supposed to be about similar shades and when I went to pick up that shade I just found that it was too dark which is the shade after this and it's a good thing that I went lighter because this does oxidize a bit not anything too drastic but it is very deceiving in the bottle to when you pump it out so it does come with a pump this costs I believe $64 in wonderful wool but i believe la moda she has it like ten dollars cheaper so you'll pay like 55 54 dollars for it but not everybody can get to la moda chic i believe they're in chagonas and i live in port of spain so it's a bit difficult for me to get up there and then actually find where the place is and wonderful wool is more accessible to us there are tons of wonderful wool outlets all over so i just picked it up from wonderful wool it was about 64 $64 I want to say so my next video is going to be a review on this because this has been a really really hot item in the YouTube community and I definitely want to give you guys a review on that so this is the first thing that I picked up then I picked up they do have a lot of new um, Milani items in wonderful wool but they're still missing things that i actually see that milani has come out with and i really want to get those things it's just that unfortunately we take a longer time to get those things in Trinidad because it does need to be shipped from away and all of that they came out with a blush palette milani came out with a blush palette that has three of the flower blushes and those those are some of their most popular items as well as they came out with two gorgeous um eyeshadow palettes that i can't wait to get my hands on and they have new highlighters and then they have these eye toppers almost like these stealer um eye glitters i want to get all of those items but this is one of their new products and i did pick it up now this is the milani instant touch up blue stick so it kind of reminds me of the milk makeup blue stick it says instantly smooths mattifies and controls shine now i did use this one time already and i did where i used it was around my nose to kind of conceal like pores and stuff that i have and i must say that i already got a pimple where i use this i don't want to say for sure that it's from this i will give it another chance and see but i already got a, a breakout where i put this but i will definitely try this one more time again and see but it did um it did control my shine and it did fill in some of those pores and stuff that i do have so i'll try it again and see this does come in a transparent color it's transparent so anybody can use this but we'll see how that goes let me know if you want a review on this as well then i just picked up i have been looking all over the damn place for a really really shiny clear lip gloss and there is one um that a makeup artist told me about that i can only get on amazon so the next time i'm going to make an amazon order whenever that might be um, i will order it then but i just picked up this is from la colors this is a moisturizing glossy lips sheer lip gloss this is just a little cheapy little lip gloss this is ten dollars it comes with a brush and a squeezy tube i did it is um kind of dirty because i did put it over a lipstick today so but it it, it serves the purpose for the while because i i kind of like glossy lips in the day so it works for the while but the one that i want to order from amazon is the maybelline hot shot it's like a it's like a lip lacquer that's clear and it's super super shiny can't wait to get my hands on that and um the last item that i picked up from wonderful wool 
these are the new LA Girl Ultimate Intense Stay Eyeliner. Now, LA Girl, not to get confused with LA Colors, which are two different brands. LA Colors products I find are mostly not so good and LA Girl products are really, really good. So this is LA Colors, which is just okay because it's a little cheapy little gloss. But the LA Girl products are super great really really good so when i saw these eyeliners i definitely um i tested them out because they do have testers and i walked around the store and by the time i was ready to smudge them off they could not come off of my hands so i said that these eyeliners must be fantastic i am wearing the nude one today and these are called the elegal ultimate intensity auto liner eye so these are eyeliners and they they are um twist up which is nice, so you don't need to sharpen. These were $40 a piece, a little pricey, but $40 is nothing if you get a fantastic um, eyeliner. I'm sorry, I keep touching my eye, but this mascara that I have on, these top and bottom lashes are sticking together. Anyway, the nude one is in super bright. That is what I have on my waterline today. Because sometimes black can be a bit harsh in the daytime. I picked up this really pretty teal one. And this one is in totally teal. That one is gorgeous. And then I'm, I had to pick up a black one. And the black one is ultimate black. Because you cannot not have a really good black eyeliner. These, it's really good so far. This is the first time that I'm actually wearing it. But from testing them on my arm and from rubbing them when they dry down, they actually really don't move. So I can't wait to see how long it actually lasts on the waterline. So I just have four more items and I'm going kind of quick because I don't want my camera to die again. But um, I wanted this so, so bad and I picked this up from Julin. This is the only item that I picked up from Julin. And this is the first time I've ever been in the store. And I went to the one in Trin City Mall. And I believe that one is a bit smaller than the one in one Woodbrook Place. But I will definitely visit the one in one Woodbrook Place. Because the one in Trin City Mall had really, really nice items. I was lusting after this. And I told you guys that I wanted this highlighter so, so bad. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Amrezy Highlighter. And even the packaging is gorgeous. I'm not even going to get rid of the box. I really, really wanted this for my birthday. And I got it. So this is what the packaging looks like. It's super, super fancy for a highlighter. Now, it is pricey. It's almost $300, but look at that. It does have this kind of indented, kind of wave pattern on it. And look at that, you guys. Oh, I can't even swatch this yet. I can't wait to wear this on my face. I definitely will wear this on my face like three nights of my birthday when I'm going to dinner or something, but... I'm loving it, loving it so far. It does come with a really nice mirror. And I must say that this is a really um, fancy highlighter. Oh, I can't wait. Wanted this so badly and I'm so happy to now own this. So I did pay um, three something in um, Julin for it. But I'm so, so happy for this. And then last but not least, I purchased three items um, from Sherry. Now the first item, this is the Etude House um, Sun Prize Mild Airy Finish Sunblock. So I'm really trying to get into um, a consistent skincare routine both day and night. And everybody, everybody tells you that you need to absolutely wear sunblock. And sunblocks that I have put on my face before were like regular Neutrogena sunblocks. So sunblock that, sunblocks that you would rub on your body. And I have always found that I break out when I do that. So she's bringing specific ones now for the face. And she suggested this one to me. And I must say that I am in absolutely in love with this um, sunblock. It does have a little... I swear like I hear like a little ball in it when you shake it up. It is very, very watery. But this is an SPF 50 sunblock. And I absolutely love wearing this any day on top of my makeup. The smell is nice. It blends in so nice. It doesn't leave you with a white cast. This is a really, really good product. I can't remember exactly how much I paid for this. I want to say maybe one something. But don't quote me. I can't remember. You can always message Sherry and ask her. But this is an absolute love of mine. And I think I'm going to get a backup of this cannot i love this i love it love it i picked up a backup of my ColourPop no filter concealer from sherry as well now she did inform me that they did change the names of the concealer and where i was medium 30 before they have now changed the name to medium 28 
so that is the shade that i am now in this concealer and i love this concealer um i believe it's 65 dollars. she sells it for i believe so and this is a backup because i've not even made it halfway through my first one and i know that i love this so much already i had to have a backup of this this has kind of replaced my tart shape tape i will use out my shop my tart shape tape because it is very expensive but to keep repurchasing a $300 concealer is ridiculous because you use concealer every single time you do your makeup. But this ColourPop one is freaking full coverage. It blends out so nicely. It gives you a nice look. It's just a really, really good product. I absolutely love, love this. And then the last product that I picked up from um, Sherry, I have been lusting after this too for the longest while and I always held back but since it's my uh birthday i said that i really really want it and i'm going to get it and this is the magic palette by juvia's i am in absolute love with this and i haven't even um started using this as yet let me see if i could get this open okay so all of these uh palettes come in bubble wrap which is really really nice they do not come with a mirror now some people are selling dupes of these palettes and you won't get original palettes so make sure that the um, person that you're buying from or the makeup seller that you're buying from is a certified seller who you can trust and you're actually going to get a real genuine palette so this is what the inside of the palette looks like you always get a design here comes with a plastic and then these are the shades here I am absolutely in love this is a navy blue hair and this is almost like a really really dark purple and these colors these juvia's place palettes you don't even understand how gorgeous these are until you actually hold them in your hand and can look at these up close these are like duo it looks like a duo chrome both the pink and the purple and these juvia's place palettes are super pigmented fantastic quality just these palettes are just absolutely gorgeous um they have recently come out with a nude one but i don't think that i'm gonna get that because it looks like you know you can get those colors from a lot of other palettes in your collection so for right now as it is i am going to hold off on any more juvia's place palettes unless they come out with something that's super super fantastic and i feel like i must must have it but i don't think i'm gonna purchase any more for right now but i absolutely love this this one i believe was three 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 thirty or something like that but these larger ones cost upwards of three hundred dollars and then these smaller palettes that only have like the nine shades in it are like two something so like my zulu palette that i bought from sherry as well which is a white one with the fluorescent like um pink and yellow and stuff that one was the most inexpensive one i've ever purchased from juvia's and i want to say that it was like um 185 but that is the cheapest palette that they have but i am in absolute in love with this other than this um i do have a few more items just to pick up um but i did purchase a few tops and some uh sandals and stuff let me know if you guys want to see that i don't know if you'd want to see it but yes so this brings me to the end of my video because i am filming on my phone and i don't want to go on for too long um so thank you so much for watching i hope you guys have a great weekend if this does go up before the weekend and i am about to film a review on this foundation for you guys because people have been asking me so i'm going to do that next i don't know which one will go up first but you'll see me soon so thank you so much for watching i appreciate each and every one of you and i'll talk to you later bye